Okay, so are you happy with the progress you've made during pre-season? Uh, yeah, I think so. We, um, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest with you, and I don't think any of the players particularly are. It's just, it's just very false. The games are very false, and obviously the chopping and changing. I think, if I'm being honest, most frustrating is I've not been able to get a, a sort of more regular team out, if you like. But normally, after the sort of second or third game, we like to then narrow it down and give people longer minutes. But because of yeah. a sort of little knocks and niggles, we, we weren't able to do that. But in general, uh, yeah, overall, the fitness levels have been good, and that, and that's pleasing. I think if you look at results, you're going to turn around and say, well, yeah, it's okay. We're going to look at performance is going to say yeah it's okay um, but um, all I hope for is that they, they're at, at the right level of fitness for this first game against York City that's that's all the pre-season means to me to be quite honest. It's, you know it's obviously a time when personally you want to get your fitness up as, as high as possible uh, get yourself prepared as, as much as you can for the new season uh, and then integrate you know with the, all the new sign-ins and bring everyone back together I think we started really, really well in the games-wise and then we sort of petered off a little bit, but I think that's pretty much down to moving players around, playing, in play, uh, playing players in different positions. Uh, but it's been, it's been good. It's been a, a really good exercise for us. We're, we're quite a, now a close-knit group, which is, which is what normally happens here anyway. Uh, but no, it's been good. Uh, it was a little bit of a mixed pre-season um, for me personally. I think it's the rustiest I've ever come back from a summer, if I'm being honest, um, which was a bit surprising to me. But I think as a team, um, obviously, you're going to have your ups and downs in pre-season. It's a tough uh, sort of period with a lot of running and things like that and games and stuff like that. So I think we've had a bit of a mixed pre-season, but everyone's excited for the new season now. Uh, so how have the new signings settled in so far? Yeah, very well. Uh, I knew we kind of do a lot of research on what the, the players are like as lads before we sign them as actual people to make sure we think they'll fit in. Uh, and all of them have, have fitted in very well. Been impressed with their attitudes. Um, and. and to be honest, when you're, when you're signing players, you, you always want to try and improve on, on what you, you're bringing in. Um, and I think the lads we've brought in have all, have all helped improve the squad. How have you settled in since arriving? Really well. Uh, I've enjoyed every minute so far. Uh, boys have been really welcoming, so uh, it's been a good start, yeah. Uh, what first attracted you to the club? Uh, I think sort of the last few years and uh, the manager they've got here with Jay. Um, you know, I've heard a lot about him and the club, uh, such a family club, and had it all together and stuff. So that really that brought me here. Yeah, to be fair, everyone settled in really quickly. Um, got a few few people that are sort of big personalities anyway, so they weren't shy. Um, you got a lot of experience that's come in as well. Um, and I think, to be fair, the, t the change room that we've got is quite welcoming as well. So I think it's been quite good. It's quite a friendly sort of atmosphere, and the boys have been brilliant. They've all all done their initiation songs and. Uh, now they've integrated really, really well, which I think is really, really key to to what we're about. And it's you know you, you need a good a, a sort of a, a, a good uh, changing room to, to to make sure your season goes well. Uh, so what what do you do you like to show to the fans? What should they be expecting from you personally? A hundred percent, first and foremost. Uh, I'll put my head where it needs to go, put my foot where it needs to be, and uh, they can definitely guarantee that for myself every 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 game. Yeah. Uh, have you set any targets for the team this season? Yeah, I've said to them I would like us to finish top ten. I feel that's going to be difficult. I'm not. I'm not silly. I know that'll be hard, but uh, I think you have to. You have to set them the, t the targets. We did it last year. We set them playoffs, and I think a lot of them probably thought well. I, I think the players probably have the confidence they can do it, but I think a lot of people weren't sure. I think this, we've all got to be honest with us, uh, with ourselves and say that you know I think that first and foremost we want to stay in the division, um, and then anything beyond that I think you assess probably a few months in, and you know if it if it sort of works out like it did last year and we're we're playing really really well, I think yeah, and you you look further afield and look a bit higher up the league. But I think you know we've got to try and stay in the league. The difficult thing is obviously it's a bit sort of going into the unknown uh, coming into this league but um, I think obviously the first target is to make sure that we're safe um, and then obviously when you, when you set a target like that and you, and you achieve that then you never know what's going to happen so uh, and then me personally it's just to be in the team as much as possible, play as many games as possible, play as well as possible. So I always set myself a, a clean sheet sort of you know ratio whether I'll do that or not this year, I don't know. <laughs> but um, no, yeah, normally I, I sort of try and get in myself into double figures, which has happened since I've, since I've been here. So I've got to aim for it and uh, we'll, we'll see how we get on. Obviously, expectations aren't sky high here uh, this season with your experience uh, previously of Welling. Yeah. What sort of chances do you give us this season? To be fair, um, this league is so open. You know, I think we proved it last year, you know, being Welling, we were struggling for, to stay in the league. We went up to Tranmere, beat them 2-1 at their place and 
results like that, you know, anything can happen in this league. So uh, as long as we all stick together, I think we've got a really good chance of a decent finish. But I've just sort of set in the top ten, and, and hopefully we can achieve that. I know it'd be difficult being a part-time club, but I think you have to look at the Dovers and the Brain Trees, and, and and obviously Bromley had a good season as well, and that's kind of for us would be an unbelievable achievement. Do you think that the, the full-time, part-time dividing division may have a, an effect? It, it will have an effect, yeah, definitely, um, because I've seen it myself uh, a number of years back when it all first started happening. And, uh, and yes, definitely in, in the last 15, 20 minutes sometimes, you, you just see it coming through. But you hope by then that you, you've got such a grip on the game that uh, you don't have to worry about it too much. As the season goes on, I think it will, yeah. I think maybe not so much early doors. Certainly, um, you'll probably find last 15 minutes of games, the fitness shows, shows a lot more. But I do think as the season goes on, with the squads, obviously, they can get a lot more treatment. They've got knocks and niggles, they can get a lot more treatment uh, every day. Whereas we obviously only have the two nights a week, we, we don't get as much time with them. Set pieces, things like that, they do play a part. So, yeah, it's, we're, we've got to run it as professional as we can this year uh, with the limited time we have with the boys. OK, so obviously pitch has been relayed and as a keeper you're used to it sort of bouncing off. Yeah. Have you noticed any differences in improvement? What do you think of it? Yeah, it is. It's much better actually. Um, it, it sort of lies a little bit better. I think it still needs a little bit of time to bed in. Um, which is what I think a lot more when they've got more sessions on it and the academy are back on it, it'll, it'll settle quite quickly. Um, but it's, yeah, it is better than the last one, it, it rolls a little bit truer and um, you don't get as many sort of bobbles. I think people were laughing when I said it actually bobbles on 3G, but it genuinely did. Um, but no it's, um, no, it's brilliant and hopefully it serves us well for, for the next few seasons. You can definitely tell uh, the improvement, especially now that a few, uh, few games have been played on it, a few people have trained on it, now it's sort of settled down. Um, it feels a lot more like grass, it rolls a lot more like grass, especially when it's got a, a little bit of, bit of moisture on it. It's, it. it's lovely to play on, to be honest with you. It, it feels a lot more like grass. Uh, so what new challenges do you think the team will face over the coming season? Better sides, better players, uh, some big clubs. Uh, I think if you look at a lot of the teams in the, in the league, there's some big sides, so set pieces are going to be important. But just in general, better, a better standard. Um, I think the Ryan into the Conference South is a big jump. And obviously then Conference South to the National, I think it's a, good, a, a big jump as well. But as long as we can be organised, as we have been the last few seasons, um, then, then we'll be OK, hopefully. Uh, with the transfer changing from windows to being able to do it all season, did yeah. you see the club change its strategy in the summer? Oh, yeah, very much so. It was... Um... We, we, it, it was one of the areas that, that concerned us a little bit. We thought, well, we're going to look at the first 10 games um, because you're in there, you, you know, you, the little toe goes in the water, doesn't it? And you, you're in there for 10 games and you, you're going to say, well, how are we going? Um, and Jay will most probably have to have a look at it then now. With this as it is, he can get and go into the, into the transfer market then if he needs to. I think when... Uh... When we found that out, it's meant we can be a bit more patient. We're still, we're still looking to strengthen the squad if we can, and it's been one of them where we've had to look at it and go, Do you know what, um, we haven't got to get as many in as what we thought at first, and we can be a bit more patient with it. Uh, and that's a good thing for us. I know some clubs are not big fans of it, and I'm not saying we want to go through 40 players throughout a season, but I think what it enables us to do is if we get 10, 10 games in, and we maybe are not doing as well as I'd hope, then, then we can look at it then. Uh, whereas, um, and that's pretty much what we did last season, because I think with the transfer window there, that would have been, been difficult to do, obviously. Uh, I, was thinking, I was looking in the newspaper the other day, and, and I'd, I'd forgotten this, but when we first went to the Football League, after the first 10 games in the year that we got into the playoffs, we were, I didn't realise, but we were third from bottom. We'd only won one game. So, like, again, I think, oh dear, I hope that's not going to be us, but let's. You know, we're going to be looking at the first ten. Well, we've never been much of a club for too many knee-jerk reactions, have we? And I think that's going to be crucial over this season. We've always sort of trusted ourselves to push through, and yeah. it'll be exactly the same this season as well. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I hope so. I mean, whenever, whenever we felt we needed to make a move one way or the other, whether it was to buy new players, to get rid of players, to change formations. Um, Jay has already sat down and we sat down as a little group and we, we sort of said, well, look, we need to be tactically sound here or we need to get rid of him and we need to get him in. And uh, uh, I, I think it'll be exactly the same, exactly the same. We, we, we'll see how it goes and then, then we'll sit down and, 
and see what we've got to do. Do you think we'll see a big change in the style of play, teams visiting and us ourselves? Uh, yeah. yeah. So what, you're in non-league football and every game's no doubt where it's, you're looking at it, I think, like this, like a, an old rhyming game, a bit of a battle, and you're going to get that, especially at away games when you go some of the pitches that aren't as good. Um, but then you're going to cut some very good sides. There's some good footmen sides in this league. Um, and as, as much as we can, we, we want to get the ball down and play. Uh, just to finish up with, how excited are you for the, the season to start now? I can't wait. You know, I think last year, despite the relegation, um, I really enjoyed this league. I enjoyed you know, the football that was being played. I'm even more excited this year with a, you know, a team like me, so I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah no, honestly, I don't, I don't think anyone can wait. I think, like I said before, um, pre season it's a really tough time, obviously, with all the running and the. Uh, and the games going to different places and things like that, and everyone's just really excited to get going in the new league. So. It's sort of come around quite quick, but definitely um, we're going into a very good league. It's just an extension of the football league, really, and there's some big clubs. And it, it, to be honest, it hasn't really sunk in yet, and I don't think it will until we start going to some of the. You go, we've got a lot of uh, ex league clubs in the first month of the season, and when we start going to the, the Chesters, the Tranmere's, um, all the shots. That's when I think really it's, it will sink in, and we'll, we'll realise, and the boys will realise what a good, uh, good league it is. Uh, but I, I can't wait. I think it's a fantastic achievement for the club, and it's, it's one that's to be enjoyed. And you know, to have our first game at home in front of the cameras against an, an ex-league team is, is excellent. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get going. But it was something that we planned. We planned to get to this level, but I wasn't expecting to be here so, so soon. So it's, a, it's a, it, it, for me, it's lovely because. I'm getting into those twilight years where, you know, the quicker we get there and have a go at it, uh, the better. So I'm, yeah, I've got so many memories of the past of, of being here before uh, on, on two or three, five, six, twenty, hundreds, three hundred occasions that it, it's, it's, it's really interesting for me to see. The message to the fans is to, to carry on the support that we've had over the last few years. Um, they might at times have to be a bit more patient. There have been, we've, we've had a lot of success over the last few seasons and, and at times this year, I'm, I'm sure it'll be difficult. Um, but what I, I hope is, especially at home, that the away support they travel and they're, they're always brilliant. Um, I think the home support have, have got to be patient with us. Uh, and in the games where maybe we're struggling a bit, make sure they get behind the boys and, and give them their full backing. And if they do that, the, the, uh, the boys will appreciate it and help spur them on.